the 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 most controversial, dumbest rule change. I, this is what I did my solo episode on before it happened when it was just a proposed idea. Somehow you unanimously passes uh, NFL banning the hip drop tackle, which the fact that we've named a tackle is wild to me. Um, but before I give, I've, I put a, some thoughts on this in my solo episode, but before I toss it up to you guys, I, I heard that they expect this to be called frequently in the preseason, but hardly ever called in the regular season. They're saying the officials have had no time to practice it, a call in yet. They've had no time to, to really dive in and see it in real time and making the call. Basically that they're so the officials are so new to this. They're not going to really call it in the regular season. Well, one, if that's the case, then why are we doing it? Okay. And two, that tells me there'll be no consistency in calling it. If, if we're hardly going to call it, that means you're still going to call it sometimes. So if it happens two to three times in the first to third quarter, you don't call it, but then Patrick Mahomes is rolling out and the, the, we get a huge stop and then we hip drop tackle him late in the fourth quarter and it'll give him an on and then that'll be the time they'll call it and it'll move him into field goal range and they'll beat us on a field goal and they'll be like, well, that's the role. And, but you didn't call it the other three times. I'm like, well, we told you we weren't going to call it every time. Well, then why are we doing it in the first place? You're just opening up a can of worms to even more controversy and more ref hate and more wondering about the integrity of the game. It is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Andrew Hawkins came out and was like, what are we doing? Yep. This is dumb. I played wide receiver and this is stupid. It is. I've been saying this to a lot of people. I said it is one more tool. For the referees in their bag of tricks to dictate certain things throughout a football game because it's very ambiguous. I don't care what anybody says. The definition is stupid, just like the entire rule. And if you, if anybody out there thinks that the NFL is going to just magically somehow have officials getting this call right, uh, how have they handled pass interference, defensive holding, roughing the passer? They have fucked up all these calls every week in every game. Over and over again, this is just one more that is going to be an atrocity on the field. I mean, just the definition says the hip drop tackle involves a swivel technique in which a player grabs the runner with both hands or wraps the runner with both arms and unweights himself by swiveling and dropping his hips and or lower body landing on and trapping the runner's legs at or below the knee. So all it takes is one of those things to happen. It's going to get called. You know, they're, they're not going to, how is any ref going to be sitting there watching for all of those things in one quick play? This is terrible. Yeah, that's what, that's what like, well, he's, he, he grabbed them and he swiveled, but he didn't unweight himself. Yeah. You know, yeah. how, how can you tell? It's Just like so with the roughing subjective. stuff, you know, oh, well, he didn't, he didn't follow through with his body weight. Oh, what? I, it was, yeah. th- it's just so, they just leave it so open-ended that it can't be argued factually, I guess. I, so I know they, they did it too, and they were saying out of player safety, which is, this is just another tool that offensive have. Like, there's just another advantage that, like, yep. offensive had. And the, the offenses, uh, there's so many things that are just dictated towards them that just make it, I, it's almost unfair for defenses anymore. They said for player safety, how many times are we going to see players hurt now trying to adjust to a cha- uh, to a tackle in real time where they, you know what I mean? Like, this is, this is kind of just silly. Um, and then my thing too, I was thinking about is like, do you coach differently now? Like, do you, your, is your coverage set up differently? Are you, cause you can't let a receiver get by you. What are you going to do? Just let him go. You just, you can't tackle him from behind. Right. Right. Pretty much. So like, do you, do you just always spy a guy deep? I mean, I, that's stupid to me, but I mean, like if I'm a defensive corner and somebody gets by or I'm a linebacker, I'll take the 15 yards. Just give me the 15 yards. I'm not letting you score. And like, if you just decide that I had to use two arms to tackle a guy, which isn't how you're supposed to tackle. Or two hands. Uh, well, then, yeah, or two <laughs> hands. Well, then I'll give me my penalty because that's stupid. And then we'll rediscuss next year. But like, I just, I don't know. It just, I think it's just another thing. Like if Tom Brady called up Goodell and was like, hey, you know, it'd be crazy is like if you don't let them tackle from behind <laughs> right. too. Like, because like when you let's tackle, do that. When you let's tackle that somebody also. from behind, how are you most likely going to land? <laughs> all this time up of that? Yeah, yeah. Isn't that normally what a tackle is? Like you land on top of the person. Well, if they're running ahead of you, where's the, you know, the motion going to take you 
on top of their damn legs. This is the dumbest rule ever. It's, it's so bad. It's and like I said on the, the, the my solo episode, you can't regulate the risk out of football. I love that. Even players are coming out and saying this, like we know what we signed up for. We don't want to get hurt. It sucks if we get hurt, but we know that it's a possibility that I will get hurt. Yep. Okay. You know, if I'm using a power tool, I don't want to chop the tip of my finger off, but I know there's a chance I could. Okay. And, so, and if I do, that doesn't mean I just will only ever use a screwdriver for the rest of my life. It means that I'll be <laughs> careful. You know what I mean? So it's just like, I don't understand what, you're sliding it so much one way. It's like I said on the, it's not even gonna be fun to watch eventually where you're going to, we're going to be playing, um, tap two football. hand tap. Yeah. Two play tap. two hand tap. Yeah. And I think, I, I think somebody posted it on either in our comments or something that, that rugby tried to outlaw something like this a while back and it was awful. It like completely stunted the game and they had to get rid of the rule. Yeah. I saw so that. maybe oh, that, maybe that'll happen because like Gage said in here, what if you're a 180, 190 pound corner and Derek yep. Henry's running? How are you, how are you supposed to get him? Yep. How are you supposed to tackle him? And I don't understand. So now you can't, you can't hip drop tackle him. You can't grab him by the back of the jersey or like the, the shoulder pads because it's a, a horse collar and that's a, that's a safety issue. But I can grab a guy by his hair and pull him down. Right. How was, you know what I mean? How, how, if a guy has long, so you can't force collar because they say you pulling on them when they're running full speed like that and the, the whiplash motion is an injury concern. Well, what is the motion if a guy has long hair and I grab him by his long hair and pull on the back of his head? Is it not the same whiplash motion? <laughs> yeah. they, will, they will say you can tackle him by his hair because it's part of the uniform. Or is their shoulder pads not part of the uniform? <laughs> is their jersey not part of the uniform, but their hair is? It, the NFL is the no fun league. They make they, there's zero consistency in, in these rules. They they will say um, player safety while adding a game to a Wednesday and a Friday, adding yep. an 18th game. Um, they will making letting people play on turf instead of real grass. It's not player safety. It's no it's money. It's money. It's yeah. money. You don't you don't want a guy to get hurt who you put on the cover of ESPN the magazine. That's what you don't want. And just say it. That the guy who's in all your promos, you don't want him to get hurt because he makes you the most money. Just just don't lie to us. Don't treat us like we're fucking idiots. <laughs> just just come out and say, we don't want Patrick Mahomes to get his leg hurt because then we would lose some money. And at least I could say, Well, I hate you, but at least you're not treating me like an idiot. <laughs> that's fair. That's a great point. That is a great point. 